Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Trips Accident Track for Holly Nicole Zapold responds EJ Furies at Tate. Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers recap for Monday, January 1st, uncovers that Paulina Value, Jackie Harry, worked up certain inquiries when she skirted the champagne during her confidential festival with Abe Carver, James Reynolds. Paulina said she'd been having a few peculiar side effects and that she was taking Kayla Johnson's, Mary Beth Evans' suggestion to go without liquor, yet she needed to zero in on having a great time New Year's Eve. In spite of the fact that Paulina minimized her medical problems, Abe at last inspired her to concede her tests highlighted hypothyroidism and that she had a bump in her neck. Paulina referenced having a biopsy done in the event it was malignant growth, however she became unsettled and didn't believe that Abe should feel frustrated about her. As a matter of fact, Paulina attempted to get Abe to leave since she was unable to deal with her significant other seeing her like a colleague at this moment. Abe would not let the lady he adored go through this by itself, so Paulina was contacted over the adoration announcement and acknowledged Abe's kiss. Outside the bistro, a cop appeared and found Tate Dark, Jamie Martin Mann, squatted down close to inert Holly Jonas, Ashley Puzimus. Tate demanded he didn't have the foggiest idea what Holly took and utilized his shoe to cover the pill pack on the ground. At the point when the official wasn't looking, Tate slipped the baggie into the pocket of his coat. Brady Dark, Eric Martzolf, tracked down Tate and tested him about what occurred, so Tate showed him Holly's medication sack right as the cops strolled over. The official drove Tate to hand off the other pills, so he gave up them. At the Salem PD on Monday's Days episode, Ray Fernandez, Galen Gehring, and Harris Michaels, Steve Burton, were disappointed over all the excess calls they'd been getting. At the point when they got a call about one more one, Harris and Rafe went down to the bistro to research. In the meantime, paramedics watched out for Holly and got her to the medical clinic, where she was taken to the injury room. When Rafe acknowledged Holly was the person in question, he called Nicole DiMera, Ariane Zucker, to offer a few startling updates. At the DiMera Chateau on Monday's DOL show, Nicole and EJ DiMera, Dan Furigal, had intercourse prior to examining Holly's time limit being 2 a.m. In spite of the fact that Nicole needed to hold up for Holly and find out how her night turned out, she got Rafe's horrendous call about Holly's excess before long. At the emergency clinic, Tate was a hot mess. Brady pushed Tate to tell him precisely what occurred, so Tate recapped how Holly offered him medicates and stomped off to the women's room when he turned her down. Tate said he went searching for Holly later and thought that she is a nerd outside. Brady appeared to be stressed over how things would show up for Tate, who accepted he was in hot water. Teresa Donovan, Emily O'Brien, showed up with Alex Kiriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, who murmured to Teresa and obviously thought Tate had been utilizing, as well. In any case, Teresa lashed out at Alex since she'd helped her child to express no to medications and felt she understood him better than Alex. Since this was a family matter, Teresa pushed Alex to return home and let her handle things with Brady. Next on Monday's Days episode, Trip Johnson, Lucas Adams, chipped away at Holly and had to do chest compressions as her vitals dropped. The accident truck was gotten so they could stun Holly's heart, so Nicole strolled in on a sickening scene and must be driven out of the room. Trip had the option to settle Holly, yet he actually had terrible news for Nicole since Holly was on a ventilator and had slipped into a state of extreme lethargy. Nicole got back to Holly's bedside and cried as she sang her a deplorable cradle song. Back with Harris, he put Ava and Stefan through a barbecuing meeting, however they demanded they saw nothing drug-related occurring at the bistro. When Stefan and Ava were inside alone, a call rolled in from Statesville. Since it was past the point of no return for Gabby Hernandez de Mera, last played by Camila Banis, to connect, Stefan accepted Clyde Weston, James Red, was one the one calling his telephone. On Monday's Days episode, Rafe additionally went to the medical clinic, where he got additional data from Trip. In the wake of moving toward Trip, Brady and Teresa, Rafe read an explanation making sense of Tate's freedoms since he was a minor and offered him a legal counselor. Brady demanded Tate didn't require one since he'd done nothing out of sorts. At the point when Rafe inquired as to whether Tate was ready to continue to converse with him, Tate affirmed that he was. As Tate said the pills had a place with Holly, seething EJ appeared and promptly shut down that thought since he didn't completely accept that his stepdaughter was into drugs. 
Days of Our Lives spoilers say EJ will cause all kinds of problems for Tate in the approaching episodes, so remain tuned to DOL. CDL will have other incredible Days of Our Lives spoilers, updates, and news to look into, so inquire frequently. Huge difficulty for Tate, Brady, and Teresa Scramble. Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers and updates bother there's huge difficulty for Tate Dark, Jamie Martin Mann, and Brady Dark, Eric Martzoff, and Teresa Donovan, Emily O'Brien, will scramble to help. Tate is honest yet he'll be assumed blameworthy, and meanwhile Holly Jonas, Ashley Puzimus, sticks to life subsequent to consuming awful medications. Days of Our Lives spoilers a horrendous sight. Brady sees that Tate has left the New Year's Eve party at the bistro, and goes to search for him, and finds him with his arms around Holly, who's gone too far with a parcel of pills on the ground. Tate had gone searching for her after she offered him pills, which he turned down and she asserted she was going to the bathroom and hadn't returned. Tate tracked down her frothing at the mouth in the back street, and knew promptly what had occurred however didn't have his brains about him to call for help. Brady's hit hard by the sight, taking into account his and Tate's mom's Teresa's sedated up pasts. They'd met and taken tranquilizers together, and that was the premise of Brady and Teresa's relationship he fears the medications are Tate's as Holly's race to the clinic. DOL spoilers Ray Fernandez and Harris Michaels appear. A cop on the beat had appeared in the back street as Brady was soothing Tate, and later Ray Fernandez, Galen Gehring, and Harris Michaels, Steve Burton, appear at research. Tate looks liable, and Rafe inquires as to whether the medications are his and he denies it, and tells Rafe they were Holly's, and at this point, E.J. DeMera, Dan Furrigal, has shown up. E.J. calls Tate a liar, sneering that his stepdaughter doesn't take drugs, and E.J. commitments to make him pay, then, at that point, Brady settles on a rash choice and says they're his. Brady is apprehensive E.J. will railroad Tate into a bogus admission, and when they get to the police headquarters Rafe doesn't trust Brady. Teresa brings Tate back home and tells John Dark, Drake Hopeston, and Marlena Evans, Deidre Lobby, what occurred, and John goes to help Brady. Days of Our Lives spoilers Teresa Donovan attempts to persuade Tate Dark to allow Brady to Dark take the rap. Teresa attempts to persuade Tate to allow Brady to take the rap however he will not, and later he goes to the police headquarters himself and admits saying the medications are his. This befuddles Brady, since Tate swore all over the medications were Holly's and he needs to trust him, however why the adjustment of story? Brady attempts to get Tate to abjure however he will not and John advises him to trust the framework. Teresa, who left the station, gets back with Justin Kiriakis, Wally Kurth, and Alex Kiriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, and figure out EJ had renounced Tate's bail. Brady must be actually controlled to hold back from going after EJ. DOL spoilers, tossing the book, Tate Dark charged as a grown-up. EJ is condemning Tate, and Brady believes this is a direct result of his and EJ's own full history once upon a time, they went at it hard both truly and inwardly. So Brady believes Tate's discipline is compensation to him, and it deteriorates when EJ charges Tate as a grown-up and he's placed in a grown-up jail. This is reasonable Statesville, where any semblance of Orpheus, George Del Hoyo, and Clyde Weston, James Red, are presently housed, and Tate's panicked as he's set on the right track in grown-up jail. Meanwhile, Brady is fuming with fury and Teresa is wailing, and the one in particular who can fix it is Holly, who's in a state of extreme lethargy. Make certain to get up to speed with everything occurring with DOL at the present time. Return here frequently for quite a long time of our live spoilers, news, and updates. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.